Welcome to another episode of Just Us Dads. Fucking hell, we're back in studio, man. Yeah, it feels good. No mask. I didn't miss the hour traffic. Yeah, that, 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 did, that I could have gone without it, but it, it feels good, man. Like the energy. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 yeah. yeah. You guys look thinner. It's good. Yeah, awesome. yeah we're gonna wait, wait till I shave. I'll give you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. and right I'm there. heavier because I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> he spilled He's the water right before we went live. Um, <laughs> Welcome, welcome everyone to the to another Dadversation. Uh, hope you're enjoying everything that we've been putting out so far. We're excited to be back in studio. Um, feeling great about it. If this is your first time, head on over to YouTube, subscribe, like. And uh, also, uh, like I mentioned last episode, uh, people, if they do enjoy the audio versions of this podcast, they can give it a five-star rating, guys. It's amazing. That'd be great. Can they give it more? No, no. But let's say like you feel more than five stars. They should have like a five plus. plus. Put a, put a yeah. five star, maybe a great comment also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah comment whatever. Yeah, uh, I heard it helps something with the algorithm or whatever, something <laughs> yeah, like that. Something with the algorithm. Yeah, something like that. Um, it's good to be back in studio. Uh, hopefully, we can maintain. Uh, we can maintain this. Yeah, man. COVID's gone. I told you. It, it's it, gone. It just took a Russian war. <laughs> it took a war. It took a COVID, war. Nobody's counting deaths. COVID to disappear. Suddenly, nobody's talking about it. <laughs> Yesterday, I was I was out and well working, but out and uh, yeah, COVID would have been like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. I, I think somebody said, what, what's COVID? Here, here's the thing, Chris. On the weekends, Not so last year. <laughs> Chris on the weekends, uh, he still jams. He's the only one from us that still jams, and we're all kind of. You know, jealous and stuff. But the stuff that you've told us that you've witnessed is as if there's never even been a pandemic. No, people. Pe yeah. So the, the the province of Quebec has lifted most measures now. We don't need a vax pass and all that stuff anymore. Um, and it seems as though people have just broken into like the wilderness. They're just they're just <laughs> out in the open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, fuck this shit. You know we found is? our freedom. It's estrogen and testosterone are up. <laughs> I want everybody's germs in me now. Like, the hormones are up. They're high. They're high. Oh, and people are happier. People you know what? That's what that's what that's what I witnessed. That's what I observed. Yeah. That there's this nice energy. And I I don't know if it's the non vaxxers. I don't want to say that. <laughs> Uh, oh, you, you know, you're not asking them, are you? I'm, no, I'm just saying that there's a f there's this burst of energy that came in. Yeah, yeah. like they came in to have fucking fun. It's yeah. been bottled up, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. It's been it's been bottled up. People have been just looking forward to this moment where some sort of normalcy would be back, yeah, yeah. so that they could just. We drove, you know, we, we live in Brossard, so we drove by the Distrante uh, on Friday, I think it was. Anyway. Uh, at the time we're recording this is a Sunday, so we went like a couple of days ago, and there were people everywhere, mm. everywhere. My wife was trying to book a restaurant so we can go. There was no, there's no availability. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is just out. <laughs> Everything is back to normal. Uh, yeah, and you know what happens? You know what happened to shame? <laughs> it's out the window. It's out the window. It's not there anymore. Seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's no longer one of those things to be careful of. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man! It's, it's, it's no it longer a guiding principle. Yolo, they call it. <laughs> Yolo, you only live once. Yeah. Yolo. Um, yeah. No, but it, it feels good. It feels good. Yeah. And uh, like we've been, it's not feels good. It feels right. This is right. This is what it needs to be. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. It feels appropriate. Uh, what else? How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, uh, have some weather that works. I was telling this George before you got here, and before obviously we started recording, but. Um, I don't know if it was the circumstances around everything that we just went through. The last winter was very bad for me. I honestly, I'm convinced I went through some depression. Uh, and you know how we are. We don't, we don't communicate it. We don't express it. We don't address it. We just swallow it and bottle everything down. But I'm convinced there was some psychological thing that was happening. I couldn't. I, I just couldn't well, take it you're anymore. You're bottling up. Well, you complaining more about it. So you just try not to. You, yeah. don't, you don't recognize your, your uh, reaction. Uh, yeah, or something. You don't look like somebody who's depressed. I don't think I do, but I, there was something <laughs> Even that... Even the way you're expressing depression. <laughs> pretty happy. You're fine. Yeah. Don't, I, don't you yeah. worry. I have no idea what depression <laughs> is. I'm like this. Guys, man, I went through a depression. I, ah. I was averaging only nine hours of sleep a day. Only. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're not we're not mocking uh, the, the, the people that suffer from depression, but there was something that happened... You were discouraged. 
it was it was unbelievable. I I, I just couldn't right. do it anymore. I was getting frustrated so easily. Me too. Uh, oh, man, I, I love your little toy. I just, I just noticed. Yeah, we have a little toy. We've updated the equipment. We're, uh, there's a, it's a streaming tool that allows us to just record everything simultaneously with all three camera feeds. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So if you guys see this little apparatus over here, that's uh, that's what that's that awesome. is. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're, That means we're, our T-shirt sales are up. <laughs> our T-shirt sales are up. Like, are we officially <laughs> in the 21st century now? Or... Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I think we are a new laptop uh, that can run the That's proper awesome. uh, the proper software, and uh, yeah, the the the, the t shirts have gone through the roof, guys. We're we're making bank. It's uh, it's uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. No, good. but back to what I was saying. I don't know what it was. I and it felt. I think last week, you know, we're what mid March now. Let's say uh, towards the end of March. Mm-hmm. When it started getting brighter outside, I I, I don't know, and it, 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 it just it's from one day to the next. You get out yeah. and you're like, yeah. oh, I feel like I can breathe better, and it just feels better. Like there's more daylight, and and you just feel the change. It's sudden. Yeah. Maybe it was a cosmic thing. We were all about to explode at the same time. Yeah. The weather's like, yo. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wasn't. I'm nowhere near depression. Very far from it. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I did, but it, there was something happened. But something I had the me. existential questions. Yeah, existential existentialist questions. I had the questions of like, like the why are we here? What are we doing? Should I live here? Should I move oh somewhere? Oh my god, yeah. man! Yeah. Should I be somewhere where it's only sunny and I don't care if the problems are shadier? As long as I get the sun, yeah. then all the other problems on a weekly basis. Yeah, on yeah. a weekly basis, I've, I, I, I'm yeah. like. No, no. At the Babe, po- should we move? It, should we live yeah, somewhere else? I'm asking my kids. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, look, if we pull you out of school and you start school at another country with a different language, different friends, yeah, yeah. How would, would you, you feel? Would you be okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You know? <laughs> and uh, yeah, my, I, I told my dad. I told my my, my mom. Oh, wow. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I told my. You yeah. had your poll questions. No, no. Here. I, I was like, the, you know, I'm thinking about. Look, I'm thinking about it. I'm I know sure I'm gonna retire in Greece, Canada. but I'm trying to to go there before I retire. Yeah, that'd be good. You know what? Like, win. I'm not a winter guy. Yeah. And I've tried the skiing. I've tried the skating. Uh, what, are the, what is it called? Skating. Rackets. The rackets. The rackets. The snowshoes. Oh, oh yeah. God. Oh, God. How is that an activity? <laughs> <laughs> it's survival. Oh usually God. When you're trying to cross, you know, oh. the wilderness to get to a hot fire somewhere. I, I feel like, yeah, exactly. R- rackets is like, okay, we need to use these as tools to get to the point where we're going to have to. To avoid the birds. Yeah, to avoid the yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure at some point, I'm sure at some point, uh, like, actually, no, even now, not at some point. I mean, they must be nice. I mean, people that like, you know, hiking or yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, winter yeah. time, they put on their snowshoes or whatever rackets you call them. And I'm sure it's fun. I'm sure it's yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not fun. We're not that family. No, no. So it's like, no. I need to be, I think, in, in an environment where it's mostly sunny. And I don't care. I, I think no. I'll deal with all the rest no, of the no, problems. 100%. 100%, man. 100%. Yeah. That's what I thought of. That's a great... Uh Great project idea. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, a, like right, I put it in the universe now. Like, I spoke it. I have, yeah. It's right? Like it's out there. Yeah, so I'm accountable. I went through the exact same thing. I've been thinking. And, and you, know what, you know what sucks? And I don't know if we've spoken about this in other episodes. Every time you think, I'm getting the hell out of here. And it, 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 it's little, it's minor things, eh? Like, your car falls into a pothole. Fucking country, we got to get the hell out of here. You know? There's traffic. Fucking country, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a red light that's taking too long. Fucking Montreal. Or what? A, there's a little thing that just sparks. Yeah. Well, that's what you call spoiled right there. It's, yeah. not, it's not spoiled. It's, I think it's frustration. And it's just little things that trigger you. And for every little thing, I would turn to my wife. I'm like, I can't, babe. I can't. I can't. We got to get the hell out of here. I don't know. Figure yeah, it out. We, I don't know why. I want to live yeah. somewhere. I want to live somewhere else. And then every single time that happens, almost simultaneously, you think, okay, where can I live? And it's so difficult to find a place where you can go and be better off than in Canada. I'm sure there are better countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that, would you want to go live like in Sweden <laughs> or, no, or no, I don't no, know, no, Denmark me, or wherever those Nordic countries? There's only countries. one option for me. It's Greece. Yeah. 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 There's nothing else. I'm not but, debating... Uh, yeah. Sweden, Finland, stuff like that. No way. Yeah. No, it's great. It's the quality of life too, right? And the, the, the possibility for opportunity and all those things that I'm not so sure Greece can compare to no, what we no, have in no, Canada. No, no. It went, it's Greece still, yeah. went through its lowest point. So it's only upward from yeah. now. So I there agree, is opportunity. I agree with you, but there's still a, lot, uh, a long way to go, I think. I, again, I'm not an expert. But, but that's what I'm saying. I'm willing to deal with those things. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing to deal with that struggle. I'm not going there to to do a minimum wage job, right? Yeah. The, the way I the way I always saw it is that if you can live there and not need to make your money there, it's the only way yeah. it works. Yeah, it's yeah. The only way it works. Well, you, you need to do something online from there. That's right. Wi-Fi and a laptop. Yeah. 
You could do exactly. it. Exactly. You could do it. As you as you as don't as need as to be there. As your source is not there, it's, yeah. a, it's the place to be. Absolutely. Look, guys, uh, I've lived there obviously not for a long time, and I think I've told you this before. Uh, let me see how I can phrase this. The worst moment that I lived in Greece, like in terms of stress and like uh, tiredness and just frustration and oh, what a long day and whatever, you know, that you know that moment in a day where you're like, oh, I just want to go home and relax, when unwind, whatever. The worst, the worst moment in Greece over here, it's like a walk in the park. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's like, that, it right. doesn't compare. And did I say that right or it's the opposite? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah no, actually, let me, let, me, let, me, let me inverse that. The worst moment here that we live or the most stressful moment that you want to just run people over with your car is a walk in the park in, like, no, in it Greece. It's the first one. It's the first, first one. First Whatever. One I don't know. Yeah. Where is like... <laughs> wait, <laughs> Every, wait. Who are you trying to compliment? <laughs> Greece. He's trying to compliment no, Greece? No, he's, he's trying to say that in Greece, it was a struggle to get something done, which here would have taken a minute. Right when it no 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 I'm no 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 I'm saying in general in uh, life and like in terms of stress, th your worst moment over here compared to in Greece. So your highest stress is level a walk in, in Greece, the park. Your highest st stress level in yeah, Greece. Yeah, I'm confused. It's pretty low here. Nah, you know what? I feel stupid now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did I explain that right? I, I, I don't know. You, the highest wait, stress. George, I, George, ask the question I again. Think, Who I are think, you trying to compliment? <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to compliment <laughs> the light of Greece. If I if I piece this all together, I'm gonna break it down. Break it. His most stressful situation in Greece was only a fraction of the stress we live with here. Got it. That's right. Got it. Okay. That, that's be what I because bureaucratically it's. Oh, worse. forget it. Forget. It. No, no. There, it's frustr It's frustrate. It's frustration to the like, like to the peak. You but need to speak to five people to get a bank yes, statement. Yes, but okay. going back to the point I made, even if you live that, the bank manager had a sign, "Please don't smoke," and he was smoking. Yeah, I mean that was back uh, in the day. But uh, even if you experience that moment, all it takes is for a walk down the you know the coastal highway or the boardwalk or whatever. Sit down a beer or a coffee, yeah. like mid-January with like a little thick sweater under the yeah. heated lamps under the Acropolis, and there's, you forget about everything. certain yeah, lifestyle yeah. things they don't, we don't have. That, that evening walk to the, to the town square to just be out. Yeah. With, you don't even have to bring money with you. Just, yeah. to, just to chat with people. Yeah, yeah. Standing up uh, while you're you know, walking your dog or, or with your kids, and you're just running around. Yeah, yeah. Just to say you're not home for a couple that, hours in the evening. That's right. That's, it, we, don't, uh, we don't have that here. No, no, but you and, know all, and all stress disappears. That's what I'm saying. It's no, like it's, you it's forget not. that you were even stressed. You it, like it's not the stress. I, I think it's not the stress. You vent. You have the same stress. You have the same problems. You may have worse problems, but you have more stress relievers available. Yeah. And they're everywhere. And the weather is one. And the people is one. And the fact that people don't let themselves get too stressed is a stress reliever. Yeah. yeah. So you, you understand what I'm saying? So and, it's like and, the, and, the problems and, are yeah. still there, but, but think about it. There isn't more a place, a, a town, a city, a this, a that, where you go in Greece and you say, where's the platea? And somebody points to something. It's there. The platea exists everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And that place, you go after dinner every night or during the day to get, or the day off, you go grab your coffee. It's so like, I think it's. All right. You guys are validating everything. my, uh, we my don't, reflection. We, we no, don't, no, 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 no. We don't do anything like that here. Anything. We don't. We don't. We don't. And and, and, I and think here's that's the thing. a really, really like yeah. yeah but see, for your, for but your, here's for here's the community the, yeah. and stuff, man. But here's the complexity of this thing because even though you have all those things that are obviously you can't compare to the lifestyle we have here. We don't have. It doesn't exist here. Yeah. It doesn't exist here. When you have all that, and when you kind of, you know, when you want to balance it off with the rest of the things that matter, which is you know the opportunities, the schooling system, uh, you know, job, whatever. And I'm not saying like these things exist in Greece. Obviously, there's entrepreneurs in Greece. There's people making a lot of good money. There's good jobs. Um, is it at the level that it is here in Canada? You know what I mean? You know and what, George? That's the thing right now because I always evaluate like my values, where I'm at. I think yeah, I think it can offer it. Like yeah, I, I, I'm not saying it is or it's not. I don't I, know. I that, that's the big question yeah. mark. It's, you know, it's, it's, what he's saying is, I'm guessing it's exploitable. It's there if you know yeah, how. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's, maybe it's not approachable by all the. I could figure masses, it out pretty quick, and I think I'd be okay, and uh, I'd be happy, and yeah, it re it's it's the values that I'm after today are be will, will be more congruent in Greece right now than in Canada. I think yeah. that's why I'm, that's why I'm thinking like this, right? I'm thinking out loud now, but uh, yeah, I think it's not going to be an issue. Plus, Europe's there. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's a, that's Europe, a, that's Europe, a, Europe is right there. Yeah, it's a, it's a good point. Euro flight it's, it's, away yeah. from anywhere, man. From anywhere. 50 euro. 
No, but uh, what he's saying is that even in terms of opportunity, like yeah, something yeah. lands in Germany, boom, you hop on a plane, you're there. France, uh, yeah. Italy, whatever. You like know? now, I have a conference in Toronto. It, it's it's a five hour drive, six hours actually. We're going past Toronto a little bit, but uh, in Europe, like I've I've crossed three countries. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm serious. <laughs> that, <laughs> that you left I mean? one and crossed the s- one and two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of, uh, I think I've told you the story, guys, when we went for a honeymoon in Colombia, we left uh, Bogota, which is the, you know, the capital city, That's and we wanted to go story. visit, we wanted to go visit my, uh, my wife's uncle. <laughs> Fucking nine week bus ride. But, <laughs> guys, <laughs> it's the city called, it's the city called Ifage, you know? And I asked my wife, I'm like, is it far? She goes, well, um, it's uh, about six, seven hours. <laughs> Drive. I'm like, holy shit! And look, guys, I can I can be in a car when I drive How many more kilometers? than forty minutes. How many kilometers? Hold on, this is this is where it gets interesting. In, in Europe, six hours. You've shown your passport four times, bro. No, no, six hours. You're flying over the, the Atlantic, man. <laughs> Six hours, bro. Six hours. We could have left Bogota and gone to Europe. Bro. What are you talking about? Anyway, so, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Six hours. I'm like seven. Oh fuck. And I'm mentally preparing myself now. Eh? It was the worst experience in my life mountain like in and out like the guy speeding slowing braking accelerate it was it was bad and i'm a very bad uh, passenger I, I can't if i don't drive myself and even when i drive i told you i can't last that long so colombia is not an option so no 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 never so we get we get <laughs> explored so we get to the place and then i think uh, to ask my wife or her uncle i can't remember who i asked how far is this from bogota like it felt like like we crossed Half of South America, you know? She's like, <laughs> like I don't know who told me. He's like, it's about 250 kilometers. <laughs> oh, Dude, I, oh my, I freaked out. I'm like, how is this even possible? And this is not highway, right? No, it's mountain roads. Uh, look, it's the as road, highway as it gets. Look, yeah. the roads weren't that bad. For me, I started thinking, shit, I got to make that drive back to Bogota after. And, and I was freaking out. I was like, did it take as long? For 250 kilometers. Guys, 250 kilometers. It's like drive Montreal, tromble line back. Yeah. Seven hours. Sometimes building the infrastructure doesn't make economic sense. God. Yeah. Or it does, but there's no capital. Yeah, that too. Cause, so yeah, because it's somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. So so all all that to say that I don't think you have that kind of issue in Greece either. No, I mean, they have amazing roads. I've traveled. Uh, Mainland, yeah. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like, it's, no, no. Look, it's 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 a thought. Yeah, it's a thought. Yeah. It's a great. Thing. I, I'm, I'm, I'm there, it's bro. It's embryonic. It's still small. It's you know. Yeah, it's embryonic. I need, yeah. to, I need to nurture it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. might come and tell me. Life might come and tell me. Fuck, you're not going anywhere, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> not happening. Just a slap in the face. Yeah, what? Uh, no, but see, this is what I'm afraid that because you know, like you said before, you're planting a seed, right? You're like, oh, you're thinking about, and I've been thinking about Greece. Um, I, I, I'm still not at the point where I'm convinced that that's where I'm going to live the rest of my life or that I want to or, or, you know, that it's a possibility. I'm not there at all. But you plant the seed. And what I'm afraid of is that the minute that seed is planted in your brain, you're constantly feeding it and it grows and you're feeding yeah, it and it grows. And then I'm worried and I'm and I'm afraid that it'll just, you know, everything will just come crashing down. It's like it's not happening. All that effort, all that well, mental. That seed gets planted the first time you go there. And it never leaves. It's no, an implanted it, it, It's very simple, though. You know what it is? It, it's, it's three questions. It's just like investing. Let's say you want to go to Greece. Yeah. What is the best case scenario? A. What is the worst case scenario? Okay. Can you live with the worst case scenario? If you could, you just go. Worse, the worst thing that can happen is you come back. You come back. Yeah. Yeah, it's not so bad. You come back. It's not so and bad. And you've had an experience, a good one or a bad one. Either way, it's a lesson. Yeah. But you're right. I, I, and actually, it might jo- set you into financial ruin as well. Well, if, if well that's why. That, yeah, might, look, I'm not going to go there and not work. <clears throat> I want to. I like working. I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking I want to go to Greece just to not work. I want to go to Greece to work there, but be in that environment. Yeah. I feel yeah. it, man. It's, it, it's in me. No. I know it. Like I told you, w- w- once I get there, I know that I'm from there. Have you had gelato in Greece? I've what? Gelato? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've had everything in Greece. Don't ask Everything. questions. Don't ask questions to Chris about having Everything. tried food in Greece. Well, I, just crazy. To, I just wanted to talk about. When it. I was there with my wife the last time, every day we would find a new uh, place to have uh, like a cheese pie. I think I had my eyes closed the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> food is great. That's another incentive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my main incentive. No, it's the food, the, the, food the, the culture, so the music, everything, man. Like I feel it. Like you know what? It, you know what sucks? It sucks that here. I'm Greek, and there I'm Canadian. 
So like, I, I really don't know where to stand, yeah. right? I don't have a place to stand on. Yeah. But feeling wise, like if you ask me, mm. I think in Greek, I speak Greek. Uh, no, there's I definitely enjoy the, myself. Yeah, no, there's it's, definitely it's there's definitely there. an attachment. There's definitely it's an attachment. In it's in there. But it's much more complicated. Look, when I when I went the first time, it explained just just my first breath there explained so yeah, many things yeah. for my child. It explained everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's there's blue in the veins. Yeah. It's Absolutely. Blue. It's blue. But you know, us, like it's it's a much more complex, like societal uh issue that we have. Like you mentioned when you're there, you're Canadian, when you're here, you feel Greek. I feel the opposite. Like when I'm here, I don't even know what to feel because I feel that no, attachment here they to call, being Greek. They call us Greek, but over there they exactly. call us Canadian. So, so you come here, well, we live here. You're like the immigrant because you have a foreign name. They can't add one and one together. Say, okay, no, maybe the kid is born here from immigrant parents. That doesn't exist. I feel, uh-huh. at least, you know, ten, fifteen years ago. So we're the immigrant here. But when we go there, we're not Greek either. And it's like we're in between two chairs. Like, okay, where are we now? It's like a gray zone. It's like, where do I belong? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's my zone. sense of belonging? <laughs> it's a great. But if I close my eyes and I think about it, not only think about it, if I think about it, I'm Canadian. If I feel it. Oh, you're going to go, oh, yeah. I'm Greek. You're Greek 100%. I'm Greek. When you feel it. Yeah, you're yeah. a bazooki. Yeah. <laughs> you're a bazooki. Yeah, I'd be a bazooki player. I wouldn't be a guitarist. <laughs> no, like but the when reason you, I'm a you guitar- think about it, the theme music is a bazooki. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trill, oh, always, always. It's a trill going Play, on. Yeah, playing yeah, in yeah. the background. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything. When, when when it's to like vocalize pain, it's, it's always yeah. every thought. Oh, when I swear, it's Greek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like the eye, the eye of my mind is Greek. My lens is Greek. Yeah. You know. Anyway, that that's makes it, it it's tough. powerful. No, it's powerful. The, atta- it powerful. I th- I, the attachment that we but have. But I also appreciate the, this country too. Absolutely, really? I love this country. I'm it's not just, saying it's anything. It's just again. the weather, I think, for yeah. the, 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 the real thing. Is the... And this is not a bad good. This is good, it's but just... to go to better. Yeah, whatever. You where know? you feel the most yeah, comfortable. Yeah, that's it. This is a great country. I'm not saying, it, it, except for the potholes, and and the politics. The, yeah, and, and, and the passports and, and, and the lockdowns and, and, and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hate speech. It, it, it's just crazy that because you said like this is the reality, right? This is Canada. For me, I still haven't understood how is it that I still haven't gotten accustomed to all these seasons. Like, okay, it's a tough winter. We've known it. Like, we're, we're born here. This is the reality. How have you not accepted that yet? Like, how can you still be complaining about winter? Too and long. that's how it is. I don't know. I mean, too long. It's too long. Too long. It's too long. Even even though even though the it last eats couple up a of big years, tran- like a big transit, like the transition period from fall to winter, and the transition period from winter to spring. The winter eats up a lot of that too. No, but in all honesty, guys, the last couple of years, winter has been pushed back. Like I remember mid to end of October, we had snow and it lasted all the way until mid to end of March. Mm -hmm. Now, Mm -hmm. snow doesn't come until end of December. Like, look, even this year, Christmas, we had no snow Christmas yeah, yeah. time. So that's a good thing for me. I'm like, push it back as much as possible. Let's go. End of December, I can deal with it. Yeah. And still we feel this way. We get yeah. snow January and February, man. That's it. And a couple, maybe the t- couple first weeks in March. Uh, a week like ago, two and a half a week months. Like, it, it shouldn't be that bad and we're still complaining. A week ago today was minus 16. Yeah. You what? A week ago today was minus 16. Yeah. That's that's my issue. The, the cold Minus sixty. Sixteen. Sixteen. 16. Yeah, 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. It's too late for that kind of cold. No, man. it's like my dad said. My dad. My dad. He had two choices, right? He was either going to stop and go to California because he had a relative there. What's wrong with him? Fuck. No, 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 no. Why? I'm glad he didn't go. To California is is a, not a good place to go right now. Maybe it now. was then. People are leaving California. It was then, though. It was <laughs> yeah. a great place then. Then it was absolutely. So that was choice one, and option two was Montreal. So when I, when I confront him about it. He says, uh, well, I, I made the choice, whatever the choice was. And then he's like, look, I wouldn't have you. I wouldn't have met your mom, blah, 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 yeah, all that yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he would. He, he, <laughs> maybe not. It, it, it wouldn't, 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 wouldn't like be me. me. It wouldn't be but me. Yeah, he would have had a kid. Whatever, he would have had a kid, exactly. But he's like, so he goes, uh, I decided to, to, to come live with the bears. <laughs> <laughs> he says, this place is only for bears. He's Polar not bears. wrong, right? Polar bears. <laughs> Caribou. No, no, but like, sometimes yeah, he, moves. He, he gets serious. He goes to me, Chris. This place here is not for human beings. <laughs> he says it seriously. Yeah, 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 seriously. Well, there's, seriously. there's less human competition yeah, here. Yeah. No, it's like it's like I came here. I worked. It's I, I had to do what I had to do. Whatever. But looking back, yeah, let's be honest. It's not for humans. Yeah, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Let's this be... is for polar bears. <laughs> And then he keeps. And then he keeps doing his thing. You know, you know, I, you know <laughs> he's, it, he's right. So he he's proud of his accomplishment. He's proud of his accomplishment. My, da- my, my dad. My dad is like, later. if he points a direction, he goes there. He doesn't complain. He just he, he just does, does decision. That, exactly. He just yeah. does what he does. He doesn't say a lot of words. When he speaks, it's wise. If he doesn't speak, it means he has nothing to say. Yeah, nothing to say. But uh, that's what it is. And he keeps watching his TV. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> you know, I, I would love to go back and just experience that moment. You know, when all these immigrants first came here, when they saw how rough winter was for the first time in they their had lives. garbage bags and two, <laughs> sorry, and two holes. <laughs> I'd love to be there just to see, like, what the story. fuck have we just done? I've heard stories. I but heard you know what? The they left on a boat with no Everyone with no came jacket. in a boat. Yeah, yeah. Just a, yeah, just no jackets. Shirt, Somebody had to go out and get jackets. The only pocket money they had had to be spent on jackets that day. So the next day, you needed to find a relative and find work. I think and I, find I, food. <laughs> yeah. I, I think my dad came like in November. Well, that, that that's why you had people sleeping in mattresses in homes. You had one guy that was already there. Established, yeah. And everyone was yeah. established and everyone, you know, they, everyone helped each other out. I remember my house when I was really, really young, people coming over all the time. My dad helping people, my mom too. And my mom spoke French, so she was able to translate stuff. So she was a translator and back go then. Go to interviews yeah, with them. My mom was like, she stopped recently. She, she got a little bit older, but that was, she was known for that. Yeah, yeah. It's you true. know, and it was like, uh, but we met so many people. It's like, who? okay, so who's this guy? Yeah. And you know, it's like, who's this guy on the couch? <laughs> yeah. You know? They were helping people. Yeah, I, yeah, I've, yeah. I think I've told you this story before. It, it, it was during one of the campaigns. I can't remember which campaign it was. And we're campaigning and we walk into, I think it was either McDonald's or Tim Hortons, whatever. I don't know. Hey, you know how the, the, all these Greeksters, the retired guys, they're all, you know. Because uh, they need that. Yeah. They group up over there and they chat and it's fine. It's perfect. So, you know, we, take, we took advantage of that opportunity to go and you know, talk to them and, you know, it was a campaign. And I run into your dad. And uh, he goes to me, he goes, uh, hey, George, uh, okay, maybe you can help a friend over here. Uh, he has a big problem. I go, what's going on? <laughs> so I speak to the guy and he goes to me, you gotta help me out. Uh, you know, I, I'm saying yeah. it in English, but you can imagine how it is in Greek, yeah, right? That's what it is. And he goes, ah, feel it. You, you gotta help me out. He goes, uh, I don't have a Medicare card. You know, I have to get it. I'm like, oh, shit, what happened? Okay, it's not a problem. I mean, it's an easy fix. He goes, he goes, no, 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 you don't understand. I've never had one. I'm like, what? He goes, I've been here 15 years. I don't have papers. Like, the guy came, probably illegal or whatever. Yeah, yeah of course. Has no passport. Obviously, at this point, you can't renew it because it's like, dude, <laughs> what's, what happened? What, what have you been doing? I forgot to leave. The guy has to pay 300,000 in fines. No, but imagine. <laughs> imagine being stuck in that, in that zone where... Yeah. Your passport is expired. You can't leave. You can't renew it because they're going to start wondering what the hell have you been doing. Obviously, you have no status over here. It's like you don't exist. You have no Medicare. Mm -hmm. uh, probably he's been getting paid under the table. Uh, obviously, he's been living his life. But the guy had reached. Obviously, he's there in McDonald's. So he's at an advanced age where, you know. He's looking forward to retirement. Looking forward to retirement. But, but Does he mean, have enough to retire? I don't know. Well, he's trying to solve that problem now. It's yeah. a little late. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, and I go to him, I'm not so sure what I can do for you, man. I go, I don't know. Bro, this guy yeah. has to go back to Greece and come back. No, but he can't leave. He can't leave. He has no passport. He can't get his papers from oh, And man. he can't get his papers. He can't get his passport. How, how do you get a passport? Yeah. I was locked yeah. up in a basement. <laughs> like, what have you, like 14 years? What have yeah. you been doing, buddy? Coma. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Serious stuff. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's what they would do, guys. But it's they, an eye opener. They, they would, uh, for me, it was an eye opening thing. I was like, they would what help the people hell? out. They would help people out, and that's what they did. Yeah. But yeah. it was like the survival was up here. Yeah. It wasn't living a good life. It was let me survive first. Yeah. 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 That's what makes them resilient. Yeah. Right. No. 100%. We don't. We don't need to survive. One hundred percent. There's nothing in my life today that says Chris survive. And you know. And you know. The, Everything's abundant. No. Yeah. And and you know. You're never thinking. It's let abundant. me survive. Everything's, Everything's abundant. abundant. It's like you know what? I'm surviving too much. And, and, I'm having too many things. And deep down, because of everything that they did for you, basically, to have a better life, when you tell them that I want to leave, I want to go live elsewhere, it obviously it bugs no, them. No, because, no, it no, bugs I, them because they're not going to be with their kids, obviously. No, but I'm taking them with me. Oh, you're taking yeah, the whole family's course, leaving. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, Dude, okay. Uh, different, different scenario. Yeah, of course. Different scenario. But in a, in a normal setting, it's like, what do you mean you're leaving? You but, have a, you have but, a solution for that. Yeah, yeah of course. It's easy. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're the, our, my family were three. Yeah, you're right. You're tr yeah, like you're that right. family, right? Yeah, like where I come from. Yeah, no brothers, no sisters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. one cousin and another cousin in Greece or two. But you know, it's it's small family. Like uh, it's, they fit in the luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess in your case it's different. But in my case, like I felt when when I was living in Greece, and you know, you guys know this. When I came back, I, I wasn't planning on staying here. 
And I could feel it. And my dad is like, oh, what, what, what are you talking about? Well, like, what are you going to do? What, what, where are you going? Yeah. Like, I left that. I came here. I busted my ass for you people. And you're just going to leave that? And yeah. like, he didn't say that, but I kind of felt it. Well, you that's know? the Greek guilt. And, you know, he, you know he, he needs to do that. He needs to go through that step. <laughs> yeah. He's got to make you feel some guilt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, my God. How I, can he make him feel guilty for wanting to go back to the place he, he drilled into him that he's from there? Because, yeah. Yeah, because you have to understand something. Most of these immigrants, they've lived more than half their life I understand. here. I'm not just like saying they, you can't raise your kid and tell them you're Greek, you're Greek, you're Greek, you're Greek, school, this, that, that, that. Oh, but I want to go to Greece with them. Apparently, I'm Greek. No, you shouldn't do that. No, like, but it, it, that it's, it's not you shouldn't do it. It's just like, oh. hey, look, uh, <clears throat> you're leaving us. Because don't forget... You shouldn't have sold it. There's this weird... Uh, yeah, again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. You should have made it sound <laughs> shittier than that. But you know what it is? I left the beautiful ocean in the beautiful weather. Why? What we don't think about is that the relationship between like parents and, 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 and children is ambivalent. Yeah. And, and it changes, meaning the accountability changes. When you're young, they take care of you. When they grow old, yeah. they don't say it. They're never gonna, they're never gonna admit it. But they want you to take care of them. Yeah, they need you Whether it's emotionally... Whether it's physically, you gotta, you know what I mean. It's like now you gotta be there for me because I'm the child now, right? Yeah. So, so when you when yeah. you say like I'm going, oof, okay, that means, you know, it's it's like a little child being abandoned. I think I think they could they could accept you making your own life, but they also want to know that at any point in time. I can come and see you. Yeah, like yeah, now exactly. I gotta cross the ocean. Yeah, like exactly. fuck, who has the money? Like the planes. Ah, uh, like you know what? Or I can uh, come and see you with a letter I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like, like, okay, go make your life. I don't know, Quebec City or yeah. Toronto. Uh, yeah, like, it's, South it's, Shore, yeah, South Shore, South Shore. Go to Brussels. Go to Brussels. <laughs> but, but the other thing also is that it's also a cultural thing because the family is woven into all culture. Yeah, it's not like uh, yeah. eighteen. You're gone. Bye. I'll no, see no, you. No, exactly. I'll see we don't you. Have uh, I'll see you. I'll we see you. Uh, you have houses Easter. with four generations living together. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Like the villages help raise. All children yeah. in the village, and they carry, they still carry that. It's in their genes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so because it, it's that's what that's why it's there, you know. Like how many how many Greeks do you know that live in their dad's fourplex? <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. No, no, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. you know. So yeah. it's, it's it's it's. No, it's not about myself. But but <clears throat> the great thing is that when they're that close, they're not near. In your situation, oh I'm sure that God. there's a lot of exceptions. I beg you to know differ. what? My my in laws are I more. Beg to differ. They're more present. My in laws, my parents that live right there. It's the perfect. It's it's the perfect distance. Yeah, yeah. It's right. Even though they're right there. Yeah, they're right there. Like my yeah. mom hasn't been to my house in two years. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. But it's the right distance. Yeah. Yet I get to talk to her every day. It's, it's, yeah. I, I like it. I, I like yeah. that. I don't want to change the dynamics. They're good. Okay, guys, let's um, let's take a pivot here because we want to introduce a couple things to the listeners and to uh, to the fans of the show. Uh, for those that have been living under a rock, we've been uh, <laughs> we've, we've been because you know <laughs> this podcast is so popular. It's the only way you missed <laughs> yeah. us. This podcast is so popular; everyone all over the world knows exactly what's been going on. We've been doing a, a weight loss challenge, a weight loss competition. We started it last year in July or August. Was July. it July? Um, George had already taken a head start. Me and Chris both kind of ignored it. He jumped on a couple of weeks later. I kind of yo-yoed and then... I didn't ignore it. We, well, I was we, mentally getting prepared we, yeah, to never fail at this yeah, again. We, we, we were late in joining the competition. I, I joined and backed off and I was yo-yoing. Like, it wasn't serious at all. The year ended. It passed so fast. And then this new year that started... Uh, I've been training almost Stop every day. Stop making excuses. Come on. No, no, no. I was, I, I was making excuses then. Now uh, it's like, shit, the competition is almost over. So when we got to, 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 to Christmas last year, we decided to extend it until March. And uh, in January, I think it took a huge turn, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. And like almost on a daily basis, I train. Uh, there's a steady diet. I think I'm pretty much into this pattern where it's becoming normal. Mm -hmm feel good and i mean you guys have lost weight too and we're gonna we're gonna do a little you know we're gonna touch up a little bit on uh, touch base a little bit on you know our process what's been happening but the other thing that we should um make everyone aware is that we're gonna extend it again one more month until the end of april and there's a reason for that we're gonna we're gonna talk about that later um but so far uh before we get to why we're extending until the end of april 
Um, you guys look good, man. You've uh, you've lost weight. Uh, I think by the looks of it that I'm winning. Uh, <laughs> no, bro. <laughs> the math tells you you're failing, George. George, George is, is is too ahead, man. It's too ahead. Uh, you know doing, what? You're doing great. I'm proud of both of you. Yeah. I'm really happy because this is for me. It was about us doing this together. I didn't want us to be a, a fucking making fun of each other thing, but now the gloves are off. <laughs> but I, but deep down inside, I'm really happy that we're doing this all together. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's so important that there's this. And I think we've inspired some people to join us, and, which, and, which and should get it. Yeah, and, and we're we're gonna get into that. Uh, do you guys want to talk um, a little bit about what you've done so far, or uh, or do you want to leave that uh, we'll, for later? We'll leave that. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's, it's <laughs> we're on track. Look, for me, it's it's I'm on track. Um, it is a competition, but. I'm not trying to, like, uh, seriously now, I'm not trying to win. I'm trying to, to do the right thing for me, right? Yeah. He knows it's he's eternal. losing. It's eternal. It's <laughs> eternal. It is, it is, it is. I'm, I, like, I'm, I'm battling with my demons. Yeah. So I'm doing things right. I see where the weaknesses are because, oh, my God, do they flourish. Oh, yeah. my God, yeah. yeah. They, they, they yeah. Old they, habits they, reappear like They're this. in front of me every single time, and I know the, the bad decisions. So I'm just trying to make the right decision when it comes to food choices and portions. I'm trying to do the right. I'm at the gym, too. Yeah. I do four to five days a week. Uh, I haven't missed for the couple. How of much? Are, how much are you down now? Uh, about forty. Fuck. Yeah, that's good, man. George, thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Oh, so you guys are, uh, are yeah, neck but, and neck. Uh, but it's percentages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, he was heavier. He was a heavier boy. We uh, might win if we add our percentages. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. When we when we weighed in in July, he was the heaviest. Oh, yeah. he was. I was. Yeah. You're right. right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm down uh, about. I'm close to 25 now. I'm juggling between uh, 22 and 21. I, so if, if you win, it's very impressive. Yeah. George is is the winner. Obviously, he's the winner because he's done it right. He like before the competition, but if you win, it's impressive because yeah. you, you you weigh the. the I was the least. So the, the least, fact that yeah. I lost. Uh, well, yeah, because it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's body yeah, percentage. Yeah, exactly. I think I can do it. We have one more month now, so the, the, we're going to kick it into high gear. Uh, that's what's going to happen now. Uh, uh, Something tells me it'll be extended again. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're no, going to keep, not, we're gonna keep extending it. George, catching up on Christmas <laughs> hangouts that we never That's what I told you guys yesterday. I sent Easter, you a message. I'm Easter. like, because we made the decision yesterday to extend it until the end of April, and then like, like oh. whatever, <laughs> eight hours later, I sent these guys a message. I'm like, guys, <laughs> we forgot Easter. that... Easter is in April, and not only that, it's the last week of April. Like right where you're settling down, and it's the last stretch until yeah, the 30th. Yeah. The Sunday before that, we're we're having and Easter. You know what happens to me, man? When I cheat, because I tried this, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out my body. You're, try, you're trying to cheat, I know. No, no, but when I cheat, <laughs> when I cheat, it's like fuck, man. I go up like 15 pounds of water retention. <laughs> yeah. Like I'll have a donut, and then I'm 15 pounds heavier the next morning. The weigh in should be sad. And the trainer the says glycogen. Fuck that. I don't think that's fucking glycogen. You know that that mathematically it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh man. But all this to say that, um, and we've been uh, kind of hinting this a little bit since last year. We've been working on a mini series. Um, it's a couple of videos. One has already been released on Monday. We've been getting already some comments on it. We're glad that you like it. It's a five-part uh, mini series, and we do, we do have to thank obviously Nick Nick Jerosos for yeah, those who don't know great Nick. Sport. Uh, um, amazing guy. He has a huge YouTube channel, um, fitness, self-defense, all that stuff. Friend of the show. Uh, friend of the show. Whipped our ass. Uh, and uh, he's in all the videos, uh, and he's such a good guy for coming on uh, and doing this with us. We really, really appreciate it. So thanks, Nick. Uh, and I'll put all the links in the description so you guys can go follow him. Uh, and obviously, Phil, Phil Balabanos, who directed the entire thing. Uh, it looks easy. I thought it was going to be the easiest thing. Like, come on, man, this is the five episode. Let's go. It is much harder than anyone thinks, right, to put these videos together. So props to, to, to Phil for helping us out. Mm -hmm. So there's more videos. So like we said, it's a five-part uh, series. Uh, and every week we're going to be releasing a video, and that's going to bring us all the way until the end of April where we're going to end the competition. And in addition to ending the competition, because George mentioned that we have somehow, uh, w w this wasn't at all our intention, but thankfully we have inspired uh, a, a few people uh, to join, to join in, right? And to, to, I think to, I think it was our intention. 
Yeah, I think well, secretly we wanted to well, do that. You I had think mentioned we, yeah, we, we, hope, we hope some of you would choose to join. Yeah, us yeah exactly. Or, that's why you do. That's why you do this together because yeah. it's synergistic, right? You yeah. do it together, and it's. I find it's easier it because we're a accountable. Magnet for other people that's to right. Too. It, yeah, yeah. Just monster. Man. And uh, we're definitely glad that people uh, came on board. And what we're going to do? So for the last month, what we decided to do is to have two parallel kind of challenges. So one, we're going to keep challenging ourselves, the three of us, uh, Chris, myself, and George, uh, and then we're going to have a, a parallel uh, competition where we're going to have all these people that have sent us messages or you know they told us hey by the way I'm watching you and it's great and I started my own thing and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people have been reaching out to George uh, for advice and uh, he's been giving them some and uh, again we're, we're not professionals here so don't call us for advice we've brought on a lot of experts uh, uh you know since you know the last you know five or six months whatever since uh, since we started this competition so if you need anything, let us know and we can reach out to these people, whoever it is, or you can reach out to them directly, whatever, if you want real professional advice. Uh, that's the whole purpose. That's why we did all this, right? So we can bring these people to you um, so that they can motivate you and to guide you and to help you into changing your lifestyle. Um, so all these people that uh, decided to get inspired and to kind of, you know, quote unquote, join the, the, the wave and the movement, we're going to have like a separate kind of challenge for them. And at the end of that challenge, we're going to uh, give them something. We're going to, you know, we're going to reward them in some way. They're going to get recognition. Yeah, they're going to sure. get recognition. We're going to try by the end of April, maybe to even bring a couple of them to share their stories as yeah. well mm -hmm. uh, in the hopes that maybe it'll inspire uh, people uh, to get started or to keep going or whatever your situation is. Um, so, so far, I think we're like five or six people and uh, maybe there's going to be more. I don't know. Um, I don't want to say their names now because we don't know exactly how they feel about being uh, exposed. We don't know. But if some of them have already agreed to come on the show and we will bring them. So look forward to that. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I'm excited about that. I, I didn't think that we were going to have that effect. And even if it's one person, I, I, mm, like success. even one person uh, for us, it, it means the it means the world that we were able to do that. And if you are uh, interested in um, in joining the this challenge for the rest of the month until the 30th of April, it's really it's really about sharing this, their story. And where they started and where they want to be and yeah. where they are. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and I mean, we're not gonna look at your weight or where. I mean, we trust you and uh, just tell us what weight it was when you started, whenever it was. It doesn't necessarily have to mean now. I mean, if you've been trying a month from now, two months from now, a couple of weeks, whatever. Let us know what the the start weight was, and then let us know what it's gonna be on the thirtieth of April. And if you want to, if you're listening to this for the first time and you want to participate, send us an email. Um, what's our email? It's uh, just us dads pod at gmail.com. I'll put the links uh, and the email in the description so you can go there. I'll even put it on the bottom of the of this video so it's going to appear somewhere. Uh, send us an email, communicate with us. Let us know how you have you know you felt during all these episodes and during the whole competition because it's nearing the end uh hopefully we'll get more people to to, to join uh, i'm hoping that people are going to send emails but if they don't doesn't matter we still have um hopefully we'll end it for real yeah, 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 yeah. we'll see uh unless we get really pumped and we just keep keep on doing this but, but like the, you know what though it's like Look, we'll have to end the competition someday. Eventually, it's going to be the first one to a six pack. But what we've, yeah, <laughs> what, exactly, Eventually, yeah. exactly, because you always have to top it now, right? And it, this is forever, yeah. yeah, right. This is what we're struggling. We're yeah. struggling to change our lifestyle, right? I think I'm there, and I don't want to. Wait, 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 the six abs. No, no, not the six abs. <laughs> <laughs> although, <laughs> although I do feel a little corner on George, the upper George right. Is inspired. You know what? It's week six. He's still inspired. Guys, 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 <laughs> don't don't laugh, don't laugh. But for the first time in a long time, actually, no, for the first time. I'm lying. The first time <laughs> ever. In ever. a certain position, when I'm completely dehydrated, when I'm lying down and I'm stretched out, I could, so, I, could so kind, I could kind of I could kind of feel an ab when I push in. When I push into my stomach, <laughs> I, can feel I could it. kind it's of there. feel that there's something there. There's something Look, that put your put your finger here. Don't touch him. Yeah, yeah. For those for those are, for him. those that are listening to Talk the audio to lawyers first. For, for put, those put, put your <laughs> finger here. Put your finger in here. For those listening to the audio version, like, what, what did he just say? Put your <laughs> finger here. No, but honestly, yeah, yeah. if you're watching, like to feel the ab, I used to have to go deep like this, like about two and a half inches. Yeah, now okay, I, now nice. I can I can get oh, it here. You're down to an inch. Yeah, yeah I can get it here. I can, yeah, it's it's up, progress. It's a, yeah. it's on top. It's always the top uh, left or right. Yeah, yeah. Like I can feel mine up here. It's like it's like it's less than an it's inch. The furthest away from the half bottom of the pot. I'm gonna wear that red shirt again. That's Chris's uh, motivation. I am guys. going to wear that red shirt again sometime this year. You can dance. You can really dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
uh, yeah, no, we're super excited. Look, obviously, we're feeling great. We're feeling good. Um, we, I feel like I'm on this momentum where it seems to be established. Like this, I want this to be George, the George, way. I want you to say that, and I want you to mean it. But I'm telling you, get past six weeks. Yeah. Okay. Well, you use past six weeks, no? I'm bothering him. Yeah. No, but he's, he, you're, you're there. Yeah, yeah. He's like, that's what it is. Guys, that's a magic number. In in two weeks you do nothing. In two weeks you 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 know what you're doing. You're just scratching the surface. Yeah, I feel I feel like between two and a half and three months, uh, it's that magic I'm gonna, spot I'm gonna where tell you my if you maintain the consistency, you, you can what, keep what, going. What my my experience has shown me. You always try to the, the dark side tries to always pull you back in. Mm-hmm. It comes it comes in waves. And God, do we sometimes, have a fucking dark sometimes side? Sometimes it's a five mi- a create a five minute craving that lasts during the day several times a day. Sometimes it's. It's it's a, a, a period during the year where your habits tend to change and you have to fight that shit, and you will. But now it's about using those 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 mechanisms and mechanisms to correct it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always yeah. go back to the always yeah. go back to that. Yeah. yeah, to keep and, yourself in line. And and having people to talk about it who push you back that way it helps a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. No, definitely. No, uh, just us dads annual weight loss challenge yeah we should do an annual weight in Who, who's been doing big, great big thing and big festival I, 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 yeah yeah everybody, we're um, every year everybody does a weight in from and, last and year and we eat cake and drink beer no no, no <laughs> joke <laughs> joke <laughs> The one year, the one year away, and for everybody who wants. Yeah, to we've been it. juggling a little bit with that idea. Maybe we can make it an annual thing. And uh, I don't know if I, I, I hope at some point we're going to reach a point where there's nothing else left for us to lose. I mean, we'll we'll reach. You always a, have to maintain. You have to maintain. Yeah, yeah maintain. Forever. Yeah, maintain. But it won't be a weight loss competition for us because we'll we'll all be like 180 pounds. The maintain ripped. competition is harder <laughs> than the loss. The maintain competition is harder than the loss yeah. competition. No, but if we can manage every year to get a couple people just to change their lifestyle, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm down yeah, for yeah. That. And, and God knows that. And bring our experts to them yeah absolutely and god knows that you know the, 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 there's definitely a model here to follow i mean george was a, a very big boy you know what i mean and the fact that 106 it, it, pounds since then you lost 106 it's been yeah. five years it's crazy wow it's crazy 106 pounds that that's 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 uh that's a wife that's a wife i mean look uh, I'm I'm about 195. So if I lost 100 pounds, I you're, you're down 200. No man, <laughs> you're crazy. Fuck. Wow, 200 is a big thing. Yeah, my goal. Look, my goal is ideally 185, 190. If I reach 200, or it, uh, I'd like to be below that 200. That yeah, for yeah. me is going to be 200, like a a, a good, be good measure of yeah. success. You don't want to you don't want to see it too. Yeah, and this is and we spoke about that on the episode we did alone. You weren't you had to leave early, but um, for me it's. It, I don't look at the long term thing. I, I go okay in small increments. And like so, I started at around. I was close to two forty. I think I was at two forty, and I'm like, okay, let me just yeah, it was two thirty nine, whatever. I, I in my mind, it's two forty. So I, I thought, let me drop uh, to the two thirties, mm. and then once I was in the two thirties, I'm like, okay, let me drop to the two twenties, uh, and now I've dropped under the two twenty. So it's like progressing slowly. Hopefully, I'll be under the two hundred. That yeah, that yeah. for me would be magical. Yeah. Look, at the end, we'll talk strategies, what we did, and what, like, uh, like I what said. What works for us. You know what? We brought so many experts that you cannot use all the knowledge. There's so much value, guys, yeah, yeah. honestly, and I'm, I'm, you, I'm happy that we did that because there's a lot of information uh, and, that, that and we brought There's up. a lot of different methods that, that That's float right. different boats. And I'm looking forward now to, the, and, to And they all work. Yeah, 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 they all work. And you just choose the one that works yeah. best for who you are. Yeah. And, and honestly, I'm looking forward to bringing all these other people with their individual stories, right? Uh, th- th- that's also inspiring, too. Like, how many people look at you, look, you know, saw you and yeah. the, the way... We, we did that video and it, it hasn't appeared yet but one of the videos that we did uh, oh which reminds me I forgot to thank our, our, our sponsor for, for, for our mini series guys big shout out to Village Grek um, so who uh, who sponsored the entire mini I can't believe I almost forgot about that um, huge 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 shout out to Village Grek so one of the episodes obviously uh, I haven't had a better year since takes place <laughs> at, uh, in Village Grek and you ran into a former colleague of yours yeah. who didn't even recognize you yeah, yeah awesome yeah yeah he yeah, was yeah. looking at me for like, who are And you? we should do our, our, our Chi Day uh, thing. There's something our, else, our, yeah. Our, our first episode should be there. Yeah, there, there's something else. Uh, let's announce it now because we're, we're, we're working on different segments that we want to bring on to the podcast, and one of them is going to be called uh, Chi Day. So that will <laughs> consist of us going to our favorite restaurants where we grew with, up with picking out. With sweatpants and sweatshirts. <laughs> so we can have the room. So we we're not, we're not going to go as stupid as we used no, but to, obviously. Did you see how the old bad mentality just creeped up? <laughs> yeah, did yeah. you so see? Right away. Oh, like, like, yeah, right, right away. Swag. <laughs> Gotta go yeah. back to our Comfort. old habits. No belts, uh, no belts. <laughs> always. <laughs> like, like you're gonna go sweat there. <laughs> like, I would, I would prepare to go eat. Like, I would go prepare to go to the gym. You're yeah. ready. F- you're ready for the 12k walk, right? 
<laughs> Burn that shit. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah, so it, it, I think it's gonna be a great uh, segment that we're gonna introduce to the podcast where we're gonna go to different restaurants, uh, and it's gonna be called cheat day. So I don't know exactly how logistically we're gonna do. It. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out, and it's going to happen. And That's we're a start. good name, George. It, it's a, a good, good name. name. George came out with a name. It's yeah. amazing, and we're gonna start that soon. Uh, the weather's getting nicer and uh, brighter, and uh, we're all feeling great. Uh, I just hope that that doesn't open the door for us to go down that fucking hole where we go no, back no, to no, the no. old it's habits. It's called cheating for a reason. Yeah. First of all, we're not going to be finishing our plates. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't even believe it for a second. I was like, he's talking I, about himself. Maybe. <laughs> maybe about himself. And he definitely wasn't talking about me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's coming uh, That's coming up. And there's obviously a lot of videos. We've been mentioning it that we're working on as well um, for your entertainment. Uh, and, uh, I mean, it's keeping us busy. We're enjoying it. We love it. And we want to thank all of you for supporting us uh, and for all the message that you sent and uh, really just uh, supporting this uh, this podcast. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it makes me feel good. I mean, we 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 didn't even think we we're gonna go past one episode, guys, and we're approaching a hundred. By the way, wow. yeah, yeah. we're approaching a hundred. Uh, so that's, that's that's you send that text and I almost teared. Oh uh, yeah, a yeah. little bit. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We're not gonna talk about what that because we might be preparing something. But um, yeah. So on that note, again, let's thank the people that helped us with that mini series: Nick Drosos, Phil Balabanos, and a huge thanks to uh, to Village Grek. Uh, obviously, we couldn't do it without these guys. And yeah, Tommy Mukas, right? And and obviously yeah, our friend Tommy Mukas from Village Grek. Um, huge thanks. So enjoy that five-part mini-series. The first episode is already up. If, you have, if you've missed it, go back and watch it, and there's more coming up uh, to cover us all the way until the end of April where we will end this challenge and I will be crowned the champion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, it's, uh, you know, now it's like I used to doubt it, but he went into action, so doubt is gone. I'm happy. Yeah. Guys, mind you, and like I told you, I, I, I literally Like, started, I can't poke him as anymore. As as now, now, now there's results. Stop you know? blaming the people that invite you over on Saturdays. That's, that's and stop eating eclairs. That's for a different reason. I, I, I shot it out like it didn't belong in my body, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> TMI, TMI. Oh, man. Uh, but yeah, in, in all honesty, <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't start until January because like, I was screwing around. Last year was up and down, took it seriously, then forgot about it. And, you know, I was in those bad habits where it's like, you lose 10 pounds, you're like, yeah, this I'm good, man, happened. I'm good. Yeah. You paid somebody to help you, and you didn't want to waste your money. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what happened. <laughs> that's that, what pressure, yeah, that could be that motivation. Pressure works, that could be motivation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just thinking I have a week in Toronto now. And oh, it's, it's, it's all like, oh, it's, every, it's every day. Like there's breakfast, brunches, lunches, dinners. Egg, eggs and meat. I might fast for the week. Whole week. Bring your own like stuff, Like a yogi. Man. Yeah, bring your, prepare your own meals. No, no, no. Yeah. Like I'm fasting. He's going to uh, walk uh, in floating. <laughs> Do what George does, man, because he works very often on location. He brings his own stuff. I bring. It's all grocery. I do it. You're not gonna go meet a client and start pulling out Tupperware. Sorry, no. (laughs) But have just meat, veg, potato. No, no, I know. Like, look, uh, I'll figure it out. I'm just saying, like. There's going to be it's, temptation it's, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's going to sure. put you to the test. It's going to little fat guy. Yeah, yeah, it's a little fat boy deep down It's going to it's going to put you to. And the then test. it's like, why aren't you eating? And it's like I can't be like I don't eat. <laughs> like who, who am I fooling? <laughs> who's gonna, yeah? Who's going to believe you? Who's going to believe me that I don't eat? I'm watching what I'm eating, but I, like I'm thinking, should I say, look, I'm in, I'm I'm just going to say I'm I'm in this weight loss challenge. Yeah, man. And I need be to honest. Yeah, yeah, say it, yeah, don't yeah. pressure me. Don't pressure me. All right. Yeah, yeah. No peer pressure, man. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't bully me. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, guys. And on that note, we're going to end this episode for today. Um, again, one last time because we're super uh, appreciative of all their help. Phil Balabanos, Nick Drosos, Tommy Mukas from Village Grek. Thank you so much for that mini series. We love do appreciate that donor. it. Um, if you, uh, I love that. Donor. I, I was going to say, if you don't know, go eat there, but I pretty much. I'm convinced that no, everyone, everyone knows, knows what Village Grec, Grec is. Grec it's is. an institution. No, I think they upped their game, and it, I was really impressed last night. Yeah. It was great. It's an institution in Montreal. Everyone, and I mean, look, it, it's 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 uh, it's the reason we look the way we look, <laughs> primarily. Uh, so, yeah, head on over there and support these guys. And if you need any videos, or if you have a business, or you need a commercial or whatever, Phil Balabanos is your man. And Nick Drossos. Kick I mean, your ass. Everyone knows Nick, man. He, he, an ass he, can, he can whip your ass into anything, right? <laughs> uh, thank you all for listening. Thank you for the support. Support. We're keep. Uh, we're gonna keep on going uh, as long as we enjoy it. So thank you all so much. We'll see you all on the next episode. Donor. Donor. <laughs>